Hi everyone, in this video we're going to talk about data viz or data visualization. Those are your charts and graphs, any representation visually of data that you have in your reporting or your slides. So we're all really used to seeing the bar charts and line graphs and thing, pie charts and things like that um, that all represent um, really important data that you want to share. But one of the things that I used to do is I would always make my charts inside of Microsoft Excel, which of course you can do and then what I would do is I would spend a lot of time in Excel formatting them making the colors perfect making the size perfect making sure all my text was good and then I would copy that chart and paste it over here into my PowerPoint report but the problem was that when I did that the dimensions weren't always the same sometimes things got a little bit off and I would have to spend more time editing uh, my chart and formatting my chart in PowerPoint again. So I kind of did double duty. First I edited it in Excel and then I put it into PowerPoint and I edited it again. But let me just tell you, you don't have to do that two-step process. You can just edit everything right inside PowerPoint. So PowerPoint has the exact same chart tools that Excel has. This is a stacked uh, column chart and you can see that when I click this chart up here we get this chart design tab on the ribbon and every single thing that you have here is the exact same are the exact same chart design tools that you have in Excel so you can go ahead and just change things like the fill color over here let's just change it to a nice bright blue and then maybe I just want this to be this bar to be a nice light gray so you can do everything like that right inside of PowerPoint. You don't need to do it in Excel first and then do it in PowerPoint. The same chart design tools live in PowerPoint. So what if you didn't even have Excel at all? Let me show you how to build a chart right inside PowerPoint uh, without even doing anything at all in Excel. So I just inserted a new blank page and I'm going to zoom out a little bit just so I see the whole page here and I'm just going to create a new chart and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the insert tab and I'm going to click here on the illustrations menu there's this element that says chart. I'm going to go ahead and click that and a dialog box pops up with all the different chart types that I could possibly make and I'm going to go ahead in here and just do a very simple column chart but you could do a line, line chart, pie chart, uh, horizontal bar chart. Actually, let's do this horizontal bar chart instead. So I'm going to go ahead here and I'm going to select this. It kind of gives you a little preview of what it's going to look like. And I'm going to click that and I'm going to click OK. And it puts a chart directly into my PowerPoint side, but it also shows me the source data. And so now this uh, spreadsheet, this Excel spreadsheet is embedded directly into the slide and you can edit your chart here with data that you have from some other existing source. So you can see right here it just gives me um, some dummy data and I only really want one bar. Uh, you can see this is a clustered bar chart, horizontal bar chart with three different sort of data series. I only want one series so I'm going to go ahead just in Excel and I'm going to highlight these two columns and right click and I'm going to delete them. When I delete them you can see it's now updated my chart here and what I'm going to do is get rid of this title because I'm going to use I would normally probably just use a text box for an actual title that would span the width uh, of this chart but you can see here you can go ahead up to the home tab you can update the fonts as you normally would it might be a brand font here you can also edit the dimensions of the chart so maybe you want to fill the page with it what if I want to add a category here I'm going to actually increase the font on this to 15 I don't need a legend so I'm just going to click this and I'm going to delete it and I want this uh, what if I want to add a category here let's see I'm going to click down here in my cells and you can see this whole the whole, all of the data range is highlighted if I go ahead and type a new category here category 5 and then let's just say 4.2 will be my data you can see it already adds uh, it adds that category directly to the chart that I'm making here now I could do some other tweaks so I don't know what this scale is I don't I'm not working in counts here I want to work in percentages so what I'm going to do is in my spreadsheet I'm just going to say I want this to be 25% 30% 
and you can see that the scale sort of automatically um, formats. If I wanted to format the scale differently, say I wanted to set the scale to 100%, I could actually go over here, click in the, the x-axis um, right here, so it's activated, go over here to Format Axis Tools, you can see all the different formatting tools, but I'm going to go here to this little bar chart icon here, and then go down to Axis Options, and you can see it tells me the minimum is zero, so that's 0%, and then the maximum is 0.7, or 70%. I want the maximum to be 100, so I'm going to change this to 1.0. And push Enter, and there you go. So there you have your 100%. I'm going to go ahead and close out of my source data. And I'm going to go ahead and update some of these... Um, some of these elements. So I want this to be a bigger font here. I'm going to put that to 15 as well. You can see that then that changes the grid lines that I have here. I'm going to, let's see, put the, change that font to Gibson. And then you can see some other things that you can possibly edit in your chart. So I want to update the gap width here to this chart. I want to make the gap, uh, the, the gap between the bars a little bit thinner. So I'm going to go over here to gap width and I'm going to decrease this slider here it's just going to go all the way down i'm going to stop at around 50 i think so that gives me some nice thick bars that look really nice and let's say i don't even want the axis or the grid lines what i'm going to do is i'm just going to click the grid lines i'm going to delete them the axis stays there but i actually don't want that either so i'm going to go ahead and click that and delete it and i want my bars to be directly labeled so i'm just going to go and click on the bars right click and click on add data labels and then you can just update the font how you want to i'm going to change my font to our brand font which is gibson and you can see you have beautifully labeled bar chart here there's infinite ways that you can um, that you can really format charts like this but you can do it right inside powerpoint but now what if i wanted to change the actual data the actual source data you can do that here too inside the slide because remember that spreadsheet or that excel sheet is is kind of embedded directly into the slide so all you need to do is highlight the chart activate it and i click on i right click the chart and then you go here to edit data and you can there's a couple options here just edit data or edit data in excel either one should really bring up the same workbook but i'm just going to go ahead and say edit data in excel click that and then in another tab you're going to get the source data pop right up and you can go ahead and change this i'm going to change this one to 90 percent and i'll change this bottom one to 43 percent let's see and you can see how that updated there in the chart so it the data updates directly right inside the chart and you don't need to do any copying or pasting from excel into powerpoint to have really well formatted data viz charts and graphs inside your report so i hope you like this video i hope you use this technique all the time it will save you a lot of time and stay tuned for the next uh, video which is going to be all about how you can use a kind of track form of track changes for copy editing uh, directly in PowerPoint and making comments to other people, which is really handy when you're sharing PowerPoints uh, with different people in your organization or that you work with. All right, hope you have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.